This is the Tilta Hydra Alien camera shock mount. A gimbal will be hanging below here. And today, this is tasked with capturing rolling video footage of the car driving up right behind me. A brand new Hyundai that I'm helping GT Garage Talk produce the video review on. Hold on, wait a minute. I already know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what the heck is that? That spring shock assembly does not come in the tilt -a kit and you're correct. Well, you'll probably also notice that what I'm holding up right here is slightly different than the one I used in the video that I filmed just two or three days ago. Um, I'm already on version two, so once I get everything sorted out, I will come out with a tutorial with links in the description on how to build a full spring-loaded shock mount because the braided steel cable, it's, it's not enough. It's not enough what Tilta gives you right out of the box. So if you look right here, you'll see in version one of my modification, the springs are fully compressed, which means they might as well not even be there. Now, I like them to absorb some of the mild bumps in the road, and it does really well, but as soon as it gets fully loaded, it's just maxed out and it's not functioning properly anymore. Still better than what you get right out of the box, but this is version two, stiffer and longer travel. Subscribe, because I will be teaching you guys how to do this. Now, let's go back and watch some before and afters. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be talking for the whole video. I just wanna show you guys up in the top corner, it'll say before or after. Before means it's coming straight off the SD card, the version one shock mount and the Tilta Hydra Alien. The after is all of that with the addition of the translation uh, stabilization with 0.33 smooth and 1.0 strength. And one last thing I would like to mention is that since Fujifilm has updated their camera and Zhiyun has updated the WeBuild 2, the in-camera tracking function is completely functional. Completely functional. So all I have to do is on my fart, fart phone. <laughs> so all I'm having to do is on my smartphone, press a button to activate the tracker, draw a box over the front grill of the car, and it does the rest for me. I have my 
autofocus box set to the center, which is where it always puts the tracked objects. And now I have autofocus, auto centering, and so it can track all around these different corners. The only time that I had issues with the system is if the vehicle was way too close or if it is obscured, like if he does a quick pass or if I'm turning in too tight and the tail of my vehicle obscures the tracking box. Other than that, it is tracking incredibly well. I'll come out with a full video on my setup separate from the DIY kit that I'm gonna be showing you guys. I'm gonna have a full video telling you about the camera, the gimbal, the alien mount, and how to get it all to work together. And I'll even have a recommendation on whether you should or should not even buy the Pro Plus model or does the smartphone app work just as well as the tablet? Because I am a sucker and I bought the Pro Plus model before they put it on sale for $200 off.